Okay, so here we have a word problem that says from an apartment window 24 meters above the ground, the angle of depression to the base of a nearby building is 38 degrees, and the angle of elevation to the top of that same building is 63 degrees, and what we have to do is find the height of the building. So here we go. Here I drew a diagram, and you can see here is our window 24 meters above the ground, and it says that we're given that the angle of depression to the base of a nearby building is 38 degrees. So the angle of depression is the angle from the horizontal downwards. And so if we may draw an imaginary line between here and the base of the building, well, the angle between that and the horizontal is 38 degrees. And the angle of elevation, right, elevation going upwards to the top of the building, right, we draw an imaginary line to the top of the building. From the horizontal, the angle between that is 63 degrees. And what we have to do is find the height of the building. In other words, the distance from here to here, where I drew it out here, same height, right? And and actually, this is kind of cool how we can actually figure this out, right? We're not even we're not even near the building, right? We're quite far away from it, actually. But we can just by measuring these angles, we can actually calculate the height of that building, even though we're not even close to it. So, kind of interesting problem. So here's how we're gonna go about doing this, right? I'm gonna draw redraw this, but just talking about the triangle. So here we go. Move this to the right just a bit. And so here's our triangle, right? We have this length is 24. We have a diagonal here that goes down with a 38 degrees. The distance between us and the building, I'm going to label X. And I'm going to label this length Y, right? We know that this bottom length here is also 24 meters, right? Because it's the same side, just on the opposite, uh, on the opposite side. And so really, if we find what Y is here, then the height of the building is just Y plus 24. And so our goal is going to be using these angles and side lengths in order to find y. Okay, so that might sound a little bit abstract, but here's what we're going to do, right? How do we relate these two sides and this angle, right? Notice that this angle, we have the opposite side, and we want to find the adjacent side. And so that's opposite and adjacent. Those are related by the tangent ratio. And so we can say that the tangent of 38 degrees of this angle is opposite divided by adjacent 24 divided by x. And again, tangent 38 is a known value, 24 is a known value, so we can solve for x by multiplying both sides by x and dividing both sides by tangent 38. And you'll see that this distance x is approximately 30.7 meters. And we don't actually have to calculate this because, we're again, we're just trying to find the height of the building. But and, uh, I'm going to use this exact value later on. And again, take, so now we know this side x and we want to find this side y. Well, we have... 63 degree angle, and again, this is the opposite of 63, this y side, and adjacent to 63 is the x side, and so we can write tangent 63 is y divided by x. And so if we want to solve for y, just multiply both sides by x, right? Multiply it to the other side. And again, what is x? Again, I could use the rounded value, but I want a little bit more precision. So I'm going to use the exact value, which is 24 over tangent 38. Again, all I did was substitute that in for x. And so now I have an expression for y, which is 24, oops, 24 times tangent 63 divided by tangent 38. In this case, I'm going to calculate that using my calculator, which is about 60.3 meters. Again, now we figured out what y is. So what's the height of the building? Well, that's just y plus 24 meters. So in other words, 24 plus 60.3 which is about 84.3 meters.